Hello, my name is Christina, and today I'm going to be making a battery with this orange. And so I have a 9 by 20 centimeter um, piece of aluminum foil, so I'm just going to cut it into three pieces and then fold them. So let me do that. Alrighty, so now I have three um, 3 by 20 centimeter pieces of aluminum foil and then now I'm going to fold them into threes lengthwise so it'll be like a stronger piece of aluminum foil so then it'll be a 1 by 20 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to make a small cut near the middle of the orange. And then another one, just like it, um, that's like a centimeter away. So the cut should be like two centimeters long and then like one centimeter deep. And then like, I, it, it's good because like I can see some juice, so it should, it should be good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to put one of my freshly washed pennies in the first slit and then take um, one of the aluminum strips and put it in the second one. So, I'm gonna have to put it in the second. So I like that. And both of them have juice touching it, so it should be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another aluminum strip and attach it to my penny. Um, just, ah, let me, see. let me just, I'll put it on first, and then put it on the pen. Okay, so now I am going to have the two strips touch, okay, and then have them be like one centimeter away, and try to see if I feel... I don't feel anything. Uh, let me see. Maybe I need to fix this. And have a touch. Right. And then... Maybe... Okay, maybe I'll do it like this. Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. Or maybe I shouldn't be touching them. Maybe I shouldn't be touching them. So, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't feel anything, like, nothing at all. Um, maybe I need to take this... Yeah, it's wet. What is it? I really put that in there. Maybe I'll just try to... Put that and then just put it on again. Okay. Have them touch, touch, and then feel. I don't feel it. Literally, I don't feel anything. So. This first battery didn't really work. It didn't work, but I'll still make the second one. Uh, um, 
on another part of it. So I guess I'll just make it right here. It says to do it just like how you did this one. So I'll do it like right there. Right there. Okay. Well, okay, so let me just make it how I did. Okay. And then attach it to the penny. See that? Attach it to the penny. Um, with another paper clip that I have. Okay, so. Second batteries. So I guess now I'm just gonna have them like touch each other and see what happens. Do opposite sides. I, yeah, I don't feel anything going on. Let me squeeze. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'll put... Oh, I'll put... Okay, let's see if for the first battery, I'll do where the penny is and have it touch um, the second battery's just aluminum foil part. I don't feel anything. And then do the opposite. Yeah, not much, not much is going on. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, I don't feel. Okay, to switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna be using two different uh, paper clips. Um, like, even though they're both plastic covered, I just wanna see if, like, maybe it'll just, it'll change anything. I'm okay. So nothing new except for the paper clips. So let's see if I can so I'm out of touch. Yeah, no, I don't feel anything. So to switch it up once more, um, I'm gonna use two keys instead of two pennies to see if anything uh, might change. So get rid of the pennies. Now we have keys, let's see. I'm out of touch. Uh, yeah, I don't feel anything. Secondary. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't feel anything. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm done with this battery. Um, I, it didn't work. Um, I don't have like a velometer t to hook it up to to see if there is like a current actually going on that I just can't feel so that's too bad and then I don't have a LED light either to see if it could you know get some light going don't have that either so that's too bad as well um, and then I don't have uh, any vegetables or like I guess another fruit um, to do this with so this would be the end of my battery making. So now uh, I'll just answer the questions. Um, I would say that the penny um, would be the positive electrode and the foil would be the negative part. So yeah. All right, for the next question, um, how many oranges would it take to equal a car battery? Um, to answer that, I would probably start by thinking, okay, how many volts are in the orange? So I would for sure say it's less than one. 
I would think. Um, so I would probably say, like, half a volt. Um, so each, like, orange battery could produce, like, half a volt, I would say. Um, I, like, I would probably say a lemon battery would produce a little bit more. Maybe not one, but maybe, like, a third of a volt. So I'm just going to say an orange could uh, produce half of a volt. Okay, and then... So after that, I would try to guess or estimate um, what the voltage of a car battery is. So I don't think it's too high. I, I, I would say like 15. I think that's reasonable. I think it would be that. So I'll go with 15 volts in a car battery. So based off what I said earlier, um, two orange batteries could produce a one volt so that means um you would need 30 batteries to produce 15 volts i feel like that's not enough i feel like you would need like thousands of these batteries to um power a car battery so i don't or just be the same voltage of a car battery so So yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Maybe I'll come back and be like, oh, hold up. So I would say that maybe, maybe uh, what I previously said is correct for the sake of just the voltage. Um, but there's more that goes into a car battery. So like you need amps, pretty sure. So that would probably um, really change how many orange batteries you need to actually power a car battery but I would say the voltage that I said so 30 batteries to produce the same voltage is maybe correct or well close so that's all I would have to say about that question. So I'd like to add uh, one last note um I feel like my orange battery uh, probably didn't work due to the acidity of it because I followed the steps so I assume that it must be because of the orange itself. Um, so I would say, you know, oranges already like, oranges already have less citric acid than lemon. So I feel like that already kind of tampered with the um, power of the battery. And then also my orange was a little old, like it wasn't too old, but it, you know, it was kind of old. So I feel like, if the older uh, orange gets, the less acidic it becomes, then maybe that's why. So yeah, thanks for watching my video.